an abuser will turn anything that they do to you back onto you and claim that, well, you did that. Currently, I'm being harassed daily by his fans. They claim if I document the harassment, I'm the aggressor. But I'm not the one harassing anyone or lying about anyone or sending my fans to harass anybody. I've blocked him 10 times. He's blocked me never. I'm attacked daily for his lies about me. He is fully supported in every aspect. He's made full documentary films defaming me. I've stood my ground about my truth on my channel. I am not the aggressor, but I will not allow my life to be twisted further into a nightmare by predatory abusers on this platform who should not have a platform if their only objective goal in life is to defame innocent victims and continue victimizing them. I would like one day to be able to say that I am an abuse survivor, but at the moment, I'm still an abuse victim. And I don't know how hard I have to fight to be able to put it behind me and be a survivor and no longer be harassed by people who don't believe me when I told the truth. Because, well, this man who has more followers than you, he lived with you, so he knows your dad wasn't abusive. Right? He must. He must. It's not like he's some random jackass that just found a miserable person and decided to make her life more miserable for his own financial gain. That's not possible. He must have been there and he's trying to defend something that he knows for a fact, but he doesn't know anything. He knows nothing except that he makes money hurting me. And my only option to stop it is a lawsuit. And let me be clear that I don't want money because people are going to say, well, if you sue him, you'll, you're just trying to ruin his life. You're just trying to get money and get rich for nothing. Why not get a job instead? I don't want to ruin his life. I don't want to take his channel down. I don't want his money. He could get a job and not have to support himself by harassing abuse victims. But that would be asking the abuser to stop being abusive. And that's not allowed. Because we live in a society where if somebody is abusing you, you have to leave. You have to change every single aspect of your entire existence. And if the abuser follows you, you'll have to do it again. And if he follows you again, you'll have to do it again. At what point does the victim get a voice and get to say, I don't want this man near me. I don't want him talking about me. I don't want his friends coming to me to let me know how he's doing or what he's doing. If he fucking drops dead tomorrow, I don't want anybody telling me. I don't need to know. I don't want to know. I do not care about this man who has destroyed my life with his lies. I have begged and pleaded to be left alone. I've made deals with you. I've told you you could use my videos. Say what the fuck you want. Just leave me alone. Just don't come to my comments with it. And that's not happening. They can't. They can't control themselves. They're an unruly mob bent on hurting somebody who they have been told and convinced deserves to hurt. And you believe that you'll win if this goes to trial. 
I don't want your money. If I take this to court, any money I get will go straight to the lawyers. I'm suing to have your channel taken off of YouTube. I'm suing to have you silenced about my life. And you could stop that. You could literally put it all behind all of us by just making a video and telling your fans, look, I'm not a real person. I'm doing all of this as it's funny to me because I'm a piece of shit that thinks it's funny to make fun of people who are hurting. Please don't bother this woman. Please don't harass this woman. Please leave her alone. You won't do that. And if you did do that, your fans wouldn't listen to you because you've already riled them up into a mob that you can no longer control. And if you have enough power and enough people to rile up a mob angry enough to attack an innocent victim, but you don't have enough power to stop them, you should not have any power at all.